These little Christmas tree ornaments are elf hats. I learned how to make them from a fellow teacher, Kelly Pape, who taught me when we were both teaching third grade. And they are pretty straightforward. You'll just need a few supplies. Of course, you'll need a pair of scissors and a piece of toilet paper roll. I've cut up quite a few of these and made these little rings that are about a half inch. Or you can make them a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. It's whatever you want. And then your choice of yarn. I like red and white, but you could also do something with green or all three or go rainbow, whatever you want. And then when you cut the pieces, you'll, you're gonna wanna make a lot of pieces of yarn that are just about as long as from your wrist to your elbow. And once you've got a bunch of pieces of yarn, then you'll start in like this. You take this ring and you bring the little piece of yarn up, 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 up. So his head pokes whoop, right over the top and hold him there. So you can see his head poking right there. Now you take his feet and you're gonna put his feet right where his eyes would be if he had eyes. So here come the feet. They're gonna go up, 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 poke, right there. And oh, bring the other foot in too, poke. Oh, come on feet, come on, poke in. Oh, they're both poking in at the same time. And whoop, come on there. All right, there we go. That's the first one. <laughs> Hopefully they get easier, right? That first one seemed a little hard. I like to do two red and then two white and two red and two white. And I just bring them right up like that. Ooh, that wasn't even. Okay, make sure it's even. Bring it right up. There's his head poking up. Okay, and here come his feet. Get ready, feet. You're gonna go right where the eyes would be. Right there, poke, poke, yep. Hmm, this does get easier, I promise. The first two, though, they seem kind of tricky. It's important to make sure that knot, you see how there's a knot, is right there at the top of that edge because that's what makes it look like a hat. So now let's switch colors and go to white. And white might be a little bit easier to see. So here we go. The white comes up. Hold it in place. And this is a nice thing to do with a grown-up too if it seems a little bit too hard to do by yourself. You can tell from the fact, fact that I learned it when I was teaching third grade that age eight and up are gonna have an easier time with this one. But with help, I bet an advanced seven-year-old could do it. <laughs> there we go, okay, we got the first white one. Let's do another white and it's gonna come right up here. Up, 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 up. Yep, just poking out. And then, come here little feet. You're gonna come around. And depending how tall you want the hat, you could make your feet be a little bit longer. Okay, come on up and pull, pull, pull. There we go. Good. Okay, we're getting a start. And then you push them together too to make them look all connected. So at the end, this whole thing is covered just like this, and you tie a knot around the top and then a loop so that you end up with something that looks like this. You'll have to trim, of course, to get that little pom-pom top to look pom-pom-ish. Or this one, I did a red loop. And they're nice to give as presents, or if you already have a present for someone, you can put it on the outside of the package. And I hope you have fun making these little elf hats. And I hope to see you soon at the library. Bye.